I'll do this myself. Hm. Did you think you could escape? Naive. I'll use this myself. fusion of alchemy and martial skill. Just starting. Hmm. Eska, you're up. I'll show you the one and only alchemic sword! Take this! This is the ultimate fusion of alchemy and martial skill. Fusion of alchemy and martial skill. Ow! What should I do? I'll show you the secrets of alchemy. Warning. 
Here's a present. Releasing the relic's power. Just hold on. A little longer. I can't let it end here. Looks like it's over. That's one down. It's easy if we all work together. We gathered so much. Here, Clone, spacing out like that. I was thinking of a new subject for a picture book. I'm not sure what to draw next. A picture book? But I thought you weren't going to draw anymore. I decided to change my views. The Bumblebee Princess's story will surely continue. Even if it has no set ending, every chapter is a new story, and I want to chronicle that progress. Yeah, the moon's probably doing well somewhere. A never-ending story. That sounds pretty intriguing. Yes. Next, I want to write an amazing story that can excite any reader. And if that story can save someone, I think that would be just lovely. So, what are you going to call your new picture book? Hmm. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps something that would be fitting of Flamu's new adventures. New title, huh? All right, leave it to us. <laughs> Just make sure it's not something food related. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I can think of other things too, you know. Oh, my. Is that so? Well then, I shall keep my hopes high. Hmm, what would be good? Probably something that would last a really long time. Using tools, and working together with friends, and going on adventures. Oh, yes! Alchemist of the Sky! How about that?
long should I rest? Up. Hmm. How long should I rest? Okay, good night. Are you guys in? Could you spare a moment for me? What's the matter, boss? The branch manager's here, and he has something really important to discuss with the two of you. I wonder what it could be. Did we do something wrong? I don't know his business myself, but at any rate, he's here, so let's go. Quickly! Hmm. Thank you for coming in the middle of your work. It's no trouble at all. We heard you wish to speak with us? Indeed. As you're no doubt aware, uncovering the unexplored ruins is a major achievement on your record. I attribute the success of the R&D division to the collaboration between teams, specifically you. I think you're making this bigger than you should. I think I'm making this exactly as big as it should be. I've received word from Central City. Yes! In honor of your various achievements as leader, Central Command is awarding you a medal. Among these achievements is Eska's thorough report on the unexplored ruins, which is highly rated. Uh, a special recognition? Is it really okay for me to receive such an award? That's amazing. It's not something they just hand out. You should take this opportunity seriously. Okay. Thank you very much. In addition, I have good news for you too, Lodgy. Yes? For constructing the Dreadnought, which goes above and beyond all expectation. They're welcoming you to become a member of their technical research team. It's quite an accomplishment. Huh? You must be joking. There has to be some kind of mistake, sir. Um, excuse me, was that the central... Uh, what again? The Central Command Research Institution. Simply put, it's where the world's best engineers gather. I can't believe they'd... invite me to the institution. What about the accident? The one you caused? There's nothing to be done about that. We all learn important lessons from mistakes. The knowledge we obtain is worth more than the mistake itself. With your record, our hopes are high. Yes. Thank you very much for this opportunity. It's not a bad deal at all. I doubt they expect a decision from you immediately. Give it some thought, and decide if this is the best path for your career. That's all from me. Amazing, Lodgy! It's a huge step up in the world! <laughs> I suppose so. Congratulations, Lodgy! It's a little sad to see you go, but I know your talent's wasted here. Oh, Marion! You should be happier for him! Lodgy was invited to join an amazing team! Um, but that means you have to go back. Lodgy? <sighs> So, Waji may be going back to Central City. Excuse me. Oh, Clone. Flamu has asked me to deliver something you forgot, Eska. You look troubled. What's the matter? The truth is... And that's the story. Waji might be leaving Colsate. Oh, no. After all the work we've done together, it'll get lonely around here. Yeah, he's really smart and a great worker. I mean, he even built that giant airship. It's understandable that they'd want him in Central City. After all our work, we have to say goodbye. If you really feel for Lodgy, then you should bless his departure. But are you satisfied, Eska? Huh? 
What do you mean? You know you've grown a bit too. You don't have to work for the R&D division forever. Perhaps this would be a good opportunity for you to explore another lifestyle. Hmm. I don't mind working for the office, but something different would be interesting. At the same time, it'll be really great to be able to stay in town with everyone, to dress up a little, and go out for tea. Oh, why couldn't Lodgy stay in town? Hmm, this is such a tough decision. I'm gonna see if there's something new I can do, too. If that is what you desire, then I think that is what you should do. Thank you, Clone. I'm going to think it over a little bit more. Now, how should I start my new life? It's not like I don't enjoy my current job. Why go through all the trouble of making a new one? I wish I had someone to talk to at a time like this. Hmm... A few people come to mind, but who should I talk to? Alright, it's decided. I see. Well, I'm sure you can do anything you put your mind to, Eska. You do whatever you like. What are you going to do now, brother? Are you going to keep working with maintenance? That's not a bad idea, but no. Do you remember when I told you I wanted to explore the world? Well, I do have quite a bit saved up now, so I think I can afford a next-generation balloon. Huh? How'd you get that much money? What good's a dream if you never fulfill it? It really wasn't that much. It's just... Well, to be honest, I'm aware of my limits. I might not be capable of all that much. Brother? <laughs> Don't make that face at me. I'll be fine. Actually, I was curious as to what your next move's gonna be. Because if you're not doing anything, you know, you're more than welcome.
I'm ready, brother. Hey, that's a good look for you. <laughs> Thanks. Are you ready yet? I just finished the final checks. We can leave any minute. Are you sure you're all right? You can stay in the R&D division, you know? No, it's fine. Marion said that you'll always have room for me anyway. But I want to help you search for the edge of the world. I want to see it with my own eyes. Thanks. That makes me really happy, Eska. My previous expedition didn't leave desirable results, but I saved up and now I have my own balloon. I get to decide which way we go, and I say we're going all the way over that hill. Over the hill, huh? I wonder what the edge of the world really looks like. I don't know. Maybe it's like Lodgy said, and there's really nothing over there. Maybe the scenery goes on and on forever, and that's the edge. It's possible. Whatever it is, I want to find out. If there's an edge to this world, I want to see it. That big airship would have made this a lot easier. But since you built that, we'll be fine, right, brother? It wasn't just me who built it. We all built it together. It was by no means my achievement alone. I guess that's why I was really happy when you said you'd come with me. That way I wouldn't be alone. Yeah, because you're the only big brother I have. <laughs> it's good to have a little sister like you, Eska. I wonder if we can make it to the edge of the world. A lot of people had that dream and gave up. So what if they gave up? We just have to pick up where they left off. We're gonna go as far into the distance as it's possible to go. Yeah, I know we can do it. All right, let's lift off. Next stop, the world's edge. All right, it's decided. I see. So the two of you have decided to come to me? After thinking it over, I don't really feel like there's much for me in Central City. Threya, you're going to keep working here in Colsate, right? Of course not. I was thinking about taking this opportunity to move to Central City myself. Huh? Is it because you've done everything you can do here? Yes, and I'll have to study a mountain of new reports once I get there. Being out in the field is nice for research, but it makes getting your hands on new documents much harder. Say, I have a suggestion for you then. How would you two like to start careers as historians? Us? We don't have nearly as much knowledge as you do, but... What are you talking about? We've worked together. You two would make excellent assist... er... researchers. Do, do you really think we'd be good at historical research? The mysteries of history? The unsolved puzzles of the past? It does sound appealing. I have no doubt you'll make excellent colleagues. So, what do you say? Hey, Logi, could you proofread this for me? Sure, no problem. I've just finished my fact-checking, too. You're a lifesaver. I just have one more pal to get through. Threya, Lodgy, what do you want to do about dinner? It's already ready. Oh my, look at the time. Sorry, Eska. We'll eat a little later. Just put it over there for now. You always say that, but you never end up eating anything. It's crunch time, Eska. But, okay, I'll have a bite. 
Here you go. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good. I think you've improved again. <laughs> I hope so. After all the cooking I've done for you. Are you going to be ready for the meeting? It'll be a near thing. We're submitting a brand new theory, so we need convincing evidence. Of course the board will pick away at our sources, too. This is why I hate those staid old naysayers. They haven't made any discoveries of their own, so all they do is try to find flaws in new theories. Y you are a little scary. What was that? Yeah, nothing. We know they're already going to be against us, so we need to come out strong with lots of evidence. Yeah, if people are willing to accept our new theories, we can transform all of academia. It's only for a few more days. Think of this as our final push. A few more days? What are you saying, Threya? The meeting is tomorrow. Tomorrow? What? Did you just say tomorrow? Um, what I meant was, tomorrow you should start getting ready for the meeting. You're kidding, right? I thought we still had a few days. We need to change our plans immediately. Eska, you have to help us right away. We'll never have our thesis prepared on time at this rate. Huh? But I don't even understand half of what's in there. You can read, can't you? Please, time spent talking is time wasted. Lodja, you check up to here, and Eska, you do the rest. Thank you. Th that's impossible. Your writing is so difficult to make out. Lodja, forget about that part. Read this and tell me what you think right away. Um, can I just say that this is impossible too? Oh? I thought nothing was impossible for a tough guy like you. There's nothing we can do except pull yet another all-nighter. You guys like to complain a lot, but you still do everything I ask of you. All of my other aides would have quit by now, but you two still stick around. What is it, Threa? You still have more work to be done? I'm trying to tell you that I'm going to take you out to a nice dinner when this is all over. Really? If Threa's choosing the spot, then I'm sure it'll be delicious. I can hardly wait. Of course it'll be amazing. Now we've got to work right up until our deadline. Come on. Oh, I get you. So you came all the way to talk about it with me, huh? After thinking it over, I don't really feel like there's much for me in Central City. How long do you plan to stay here in Colsate, Rafer? About that. I was actually planning on packing up and leaving soon. I was talking with Harry. In fact, we were about to go round and say adios to everybody. But we do have a suggestion for you. Uh, suggestion? Yes. How would you like to join us on our adventures? Allow us to extend a formal invitation. Y you mean, you want us to go with you? Being with the gentleman ain't bad, but I think you two have the makings of real treasure hunters. How about we make ourselves a team here, and score some massive loot? What do you say? It sounds like a lot of work. Can we really help you guys at it? Hmm, treasure hunting, huh? I wasn't really interested at first, but maybe we are cut out for it. Come on now, what do you say? End? Seems that way. But be careful. There could be more traps. All right. It looks safe. Hey, over there. Look, there's something. You're right. What do you think it is? Yeah! It's treasure. That's the treasure we're after then? Oh, I'm so glad. This is really impressive. I think we can finally get ourselves a nice meal with this. That we can. Now I wonder what it is. Some sort of device for drinking water, perhaps? No, no, I know what it is. This is some sort of headgear. Um, I think you were closer the first time. Either way, I think this treasure will come to a good amount. What with all the other stuff we found. Um, 
Uh, Mr. Rafer, the other treasures we found, they're not worth anything. W what Hold your horses, that's not what you told me. We tried to tell you several times, but you were too busy celebrating to hear us. We have nothing left in our pockets. Our last hopes are what Harry has, and what's in your hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Is this true, pal? You said they had value. Academic value, yes, through the roof. Nonetheless, no appraiser was willing to establish a price. To think that such simple tins would be the ones setting the standard on the value of history. Fuck! Uh, they just look like junk to me. Well, damnation. I guess we'll just have to settle for what this little fella will get us. Wait, Rafer! Don't move! There's a trap there! What? Don't move what? I'm standing on one foot here! Which way can I move? Isn't this the kind of trap that makes the ceiling cave in? We saw those before. No. I think it's the kind where the walls start closing in from the sides. It could very well be a trigger for a trapdoor in the floor! Uh, hey, come on now! I can't keep standing like this much longer! Don't move, Mr. Rafer! Um, in these situations, we need to find a substitute of sufficient weight. Oh, man! I can't hold on any longer! <sighs> I wonder what will happen if I just... No! Mr. Rafer, you might kill us all! Why did I decide to come with this guy? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? For the thrill! Well, I'll see the rest of you outside. Toodles! Hey, Harry! Please don't run away without us! Hold it right there, you! Oh, that's it! I'm taking you down with me! No, Rafer, listen to... Everybody run! It's all coming down! Run for it! Damn it, Rafer! I'm not gonna forget this when we get back! Don't sweat the small stuff, kid. As long as you're alive, every day's a treasure. <laughs> lonely around here. I'm sorry that I'm bringing up something like this so suddenly. Hmm. Maybe I should attempt something new as well. Lucille, is there anything that you've always wanted to do? Yes. I want to help eliminate all disease from this world. All disease? Can that be done? It's a long-term goal. But do you recall that epidemic years ago and how the vaccine took a while? Vaccines. People in Central City can get them easily, but it's not so simple out in remote areas. Did you know that the Ernella Company takes a portion of the profits to help distant regions? Wow, if what you can do can save one more life, that would be amazing! Yes, that's why I want to dedicate my time to doing what I can to save as many people as possible. And, um, I was actually wondering if you, Eska, if you'd like to... Everyone, remember, only one serving of bread per person. Please, let the people who are in worse condition have theirs first. We're checking on everyone here. All right, that should do it, Lucille. Thank you very much, Eska. Phew, we don't have a lot of food in this area, so we had a lot of work to do. Yes, and medicine doesn't work as well on an empty stomach either. I'm so glad we brought extra food like you suggested, Eska. <laughs> See what I mean? It's always a good idea to have extra eats on hand. You're absolutely right. Let's keep that same mentality for our next job, too. The next village has even more people. So we'd better get our game faces on. That's right. We need to be ready so we can help a lot of people. Still, you're so amazing, Eska. You can make all of these things with a single cauldron. I've had to make so much stuff during my time in R&D. This was easy. You're still amazing, though. How could you gather all these ingredients on such short notice? All of the local merchants helped me out. It's not like it was all me, you know. And all the food and medicine you make is what allows us to go to all these villages, Eska. 
And I couldn't have done that without your family's support, Lucille. Huh. Are you sure you're all right with quitting your R&D job to come with me like this? If you'd stayed there, you might be a really famous alchemist by now. <laughs> well, I didn't become an alchemist to be famous. I wanted to use what I know to help people. Being able to help the people in all the places we visit is more rewarding. Hearing that makes me so happy. Hopefully we'll be able to expand our operation in the future. Don't worry. As long as we stick to it and work really hard, others will come along. Yes, I'll do my best. I want to create a world without any sickness after all. So let's keep on doing our best, Eska. All right, it's decided. I see. If I had an opportunity like that fall into my lap, I'd be considering it too. Because I did give Central City's offer some thought, and I realized I don't really want to be there. What are you going to do with the R&D division from now on? Yes, well, I haven't quite decided. But I'm sure things will keep running the way they are. I'll set goals and make sure my team meets them. It'll be exactly the same. But compared to when it was just Marion and myself, we've really expanded our work capacity. I'm sure we still have a great many things to do. If the two of you want to explore other options, I won't stop you. But I'll keep your seats warm. It'll be lonely without you. But remember, you can come back anytime, okay? We'll be waiting. Um, I'm sorry. I know I said some weird things, but... Would it be okay if I kept working here at R&D? I love this place, and I want to keep working with the two of you. Good point. There's no need to try and change your world when everything's working out just fine. There are other ways to spend your life than here, but I do intend to make R&D the best department. As do I. So if the two of you would like to stay, then... Laji, have you finished the application for our next investigation? Sorry, I'll have it done right away. Eska, is the list of ingredients we need for synthesis ready? I heard you were running behind. J just a little longer! There's not much time left. Please hurry, you two. Yes! Lucille's out working with the provisions department. She won't be able to support you two for a time. What should we do? I know R&D has more work to do, but we can't finish it late. Hey, Linka, have you finished that report you promised? I'm starting right now. Too late! I asked for it three days ago. Do it now. Uh, right away. Um, Miss Linka, have you already submitted the application to the provisions department? Not yet. Linka, don't tell me you haven't even looked at the budget we were going to send to Seoul. Uh, now that you mention it, I think someone asked me to do that. Yes, it was me! Please, get that done ASAP! Uh, where should I start? We have to hurry and submit it, or they're going to lock in their schedule. I'm sure Sol's furious right now. Uh, Marion, I'm requesting backup. I really think we're in danger here. Ugh, oh, you're so hopeless. Please prioritize your report first. I'll do everything that Eska and Laji asked you to do. Thank you very much! Sheesh, I thought you were getting the hang of things, Linka. But you're barely keeping afloat. Are you sure you're okay with this, Laji? You're fine with giving up the opportunity to see the ruins? It's okay. I think I'm better suited to working here in the R&D division. <laughs> yeah, this is the best way for everything to be handled. That reminds me! Take a look at this! One of the nearby villages is under attack by a violent monster! Hmm, we can't ignore that! I'd better get over there and see what the situation is! Uh, if you're going, I'm going too! We're running out of raw materials. I'll go with them, boss. I'm sure there are injured people, so I'll bring Lucille as well. Okay, understood. Be careful, everyone! I'm always good in a fight! Please leave this to me! Are you guys ready? Uh, I think 
think I'm starting to get hungry from using my head. My, oh my. That won't do. How about I prepare something light for you to enjoy? Y yeah I'm sure I'll think a lot better on a full stomach. And so, as time passed, the day Lodgy had to leave eventually arrived. All I did was throw him a farewell party. Was there anything else I could have done? Still, at the very least, Lodgy seemed really happy. I'm glad we were able to send him off smiling. Now that I'm alone, the work here in the atelier is a little overwhelming. But with everyone's help, I'm enjoying my time here. That's why today I... Everyone, thank you very much for gathering today. I know that our work here is stressful, so I hope we can all work off some of that steam. Whoa! I've never seen such a fancy tart in my entire life! Why do I get the feeling like you've said that before? Now, Lucille, don't worry about stuff like that. My turn! Ah, oh, my tart! Be nice, Kotla. And Lucille, there's a lot left. Here, have some of mine. Th thank you very much, Jessica. Uh, are you going to eat all of that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> oops. I might have taken a little too much. <laughs> right. But are you going to finish it? Mm -hmm. This tart is really delicious. <laughs> mm. But so is this cake. How is it possible to cook something that tastes so good? I still need more training. Oh, thank you. Your compliments make the effort worthwhile. There is plenty, so please, don't wait to have seconds. Or thirds. Ha! <laughs> well, about that weather, huh? It's so nice, I... Just want to forget about work and relax. It is nice, but please remember to process that application I submitted. I need that to continue. Damn, and I'd finally forgotten about that, too. <laughs> Miss Marion, you're still talking about work. Marion lives and dies for her job. The last time we went out for a drink, she kept bragging about it. Oh, so that story's true? You know, I think you need to settle down and find yourself a nice guy. No offense, but you're the last person in the world I want giving me advice like that. Don't rush me. What's that supposed to mean? As long as I get someone caring and supporting, I don't care who it is. I'd like someone really nice. I wonder if there's anybody like that out there. I see. Since we're all talking about romance, I just so happen to have a lucky charm for that. A lucky luck charm? Tell me more. First you tell me not to rush you, and yet here you are. On a similar topic, what did your letter from Lodgy say, Eska? Oh, right. He said his work is keeping him really busy, and he's still trying to climb the ladder. I think he's really going to make something of himself at this rate. My, oh my. That is very good to hear. But it'd be nice if he stopped by to say hi once in a while. We could throw another party for him. Well, if you just want a party, we can always have another. Like this one. No, not a party like this. A bigger one. With everyone from town and the people really, really far away. They're all our great friends. 